How's it going everybody? For today's video game review, we've got something weird and absolutely legendary. This, my friends, is Super Noah's Ark 3D for the Super Nintendo. This game was released by Wisdom Tree in 1994 for the North American Super Nintendo. It is the only unlicensed game to ever exist on the Super Nintendo home console. Probably wondering about the cartridge. Well, that's because they had lockout chips and to get around that, the unlicensed company made you plug a legitimate Super Nintendo game on top of this cartridge. So guys, without further ado, we are going to take a look at this really interesting, strange Super Nintendo game today, and uh, it also has an interesting little backstory that goes along with it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy the review. Before we begin the review, there's an interesting backstory that goes along with this game I'd like to share. You may have heard it before from numerous other sources, but I feel it's a necessary addition to the review. So, Nintendo hated Wisdom Tree for producing games on their system without their permission or licensing. Well, when id Software produced the game Wolfenstein, it was great on the PC and the Atari Jaguar, but on the Super Nintendo? Nintendo censored the hell out of it, removing the swastikas, Hitler, the Hitler boss, gore and blood, etc, etc. id Software was pissed off at Nintendo for doing this. They felt that the Super Nintendo port was completely butchered and, as a way of getting back at Nintendo, they handed their source code for Wolfenstein over to Wisdom Tree for them to produce an unlicensed Bible game on the new generation Super Nintendo console, a console that had not yet been corrupted by unlicensed games. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we got. You'll be out of the ark in six days, Noah. Unfortunately, the animals are a tad bit restless and want to get out now. Good thing you brought all that food with you. You'll need it to put the busy ones to sleep. At the end of the first day, be prepared to deal with Carl the camel. He's been real cranky lately and is a bit out of control. Good luck and be careful. What? The fuck? <laughs> yeah, so does this shit look familiar? That's because it's Wolfenstein. In this game, you're Noah, and you get to run around this fucking huge boat and shoot animals in the face with food from your slingshot. A fucking first person shooter with goddamn Noah. I'm speechless. This really exists. Like, holy hell, is this comical or is it not? So, the game is just like Wolfenstein. We walk around the Ark, which has some variety of scenery, but the same repeated wall pattern over and over makes it very disorienting and easy to get lost. And if you're playing on a larger, brighter screen, it'll make your eyes hurt after a while too. There's plenty of ammo, health, and bonus point pickups to find around the level, and I just want to clarify the story that an old fucking man built this ship which is bigger than like a goddamn cruise liner ship and multiple stories high entirely out of wood by himself in a desert that's how it happened right okay just making sure so our display tells us which level and sub level we are playing in next is our score Next is a fruit counter, and I'm not entirely sure what the fruit does though. After that we have a creepy picture of Noah's face with a counter at the bottom showing how many lives we have, I presume. Next is our health percentage, and finally our feed counter. That's your ammunition. And well, the game couldn't be simpler really. Just run around and explore this ridiculously huge ship and hit animals in the face with your slingshot while you listen to this really catchy and cheerful music and search for the exit of the level. Once we exit, we're given this strange looking score screen And then, it's on to the next story of the ship, with new scenery pieces and enemies. So, how am I going to rate this game? 
well. The gameplay isn't all that great, but it's what I call playable. It isn't broken beyond being able to be played and beaten. However, the fact of how absolutely ridiculous and hilarious the concept of an old man Noah sprinting around on a boat shooting animals in the face with food makes the gameplay enjoyable to a degree, but it's from a funny fun standpoint, not a good gameplay kind of fun standpoint. I'm going to rate this game a 5 out of 10. Yeah, not too terribly horrible. I would tell you guys to get a copy of this one just for the sheer fun factor of it, but unfortunately, this game is extremely rare and expensive. However, if you ever stumble upon it somewhere for a good price, snatch it up because it's both a hilariously fun gameplay experience as well as a good financial investment. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed the review.